Hello. This is a video on the octahedron. In this platonic solid series, I'm going through the five platonic solids and showing you an introduction and asking a few questions. Here we have the octahedron. Oct means eight, and this particular solid is made up of eight equilateral triangles. In a platonic solid, each face must be regular, in other words, equiangular and equilateral. And at each vertex, we must have the same number of faces meeting. Here we have another rendering of the octahedron using the National Library of Virtual Manipulatives. And this is what's called a filled solid. If I click this button here, we see the octahedron just made of wires, so we're only looking at the edges. Now I would like to show you the dual. In order to form the dual of a polyhedron, you take the midpoint of each face, and then whenever two faces are adjacent, you connect those. Here's the dual. It turns out that the dual of the octahedron is the cube. And as you might expect in mathematics, the dual of the dual takes you back to the original. So the dual of the cube should be the octahedron. Let me go ahead and show that. Here's the cube, the wire cube, and now maybe you can visualize the midpoints of these square faces and already visualize the octahedron in there. There is the octahedron. So the dual of the octahedron is the cube. When you form a dual, basically faces become vertices and vertices become faces and edges pretty much correspond to edges. Now I'd like to ask a few questions. The octahedron is made up of eight triangles. The degree of each vertex is four. That means at each vertex we have four edges meeting and four faces meeting. The number of sides on a face is 3 because it's made up of triangles. I'd like you to fill in these blanks. How many faces are there? How many edges are there? And how many vertices are there? Try to find a systematic way of counting those. Pause the video now and answer these questions. I hope you enjoy studying the interesting properties of the platonic solids.